Hey everyone, thanks for coming back. I am going to be doing a psychic reading on Emily V and Fabulous. Uh, people have been requesting this for a while. I've just been putting it off. I don't know why I've been putting it off. <clears throat> but now there are like people saying that Taina, which is Emily V's daughter, is in a relationship with a cheater and I already predicted this if you want to go check out my reading on Taina and G Herbo I told you guys that he was definitely cheating way like you know right before I think she got pregnant I told you guys that he was a cheater he used to go into his car and start texting other women and blah 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 whatever um you could go check out that reading if you want to but anyway, let's get into Fab and Emily B. <clears throat> Alright, so the energy I'm getting from Fab is that he had a lot of issues like childhood. I don't know what happened here, but there's something going on in his childhood. I'm hearing like, they're showing me a vision of a little boy, maybe like age 7, maybe age 9. Um... He, this yeah it kind of just looks like he looks like a little boy um he i feel like he might have like really wanted to do sports before like rapping like he thought that he was gonna be a big <laughs> guy like in sports or he just really enjoyed sports um like i said this is childhood so this is young um yeah i feel like he was really invested into sports they're kind of showing me that Whatever this sport is, I feel like he probably liked basketball. Um, that's what my guides are saying. I feel like he used to use sports as an escape, even as a little child. Like The thing is, is that when I see people and I see what they're thinking, basically, they only show me their perspective. So he is showing me that He's not showing me much about his childhood. He's just showing me that he used to escape his childhood with these sports. And he used to block out a lot of stuff that was going on around him. Sorry, guys. My allergies are crazy. Um, he, used to sh he used to block out everything that was going on around him with this these sports. I feel like um, he's showing me a lot of love for his mother. I feel like he might have been in a situation where... Like, you know, the grandmother's around. They're showing me a lot of female energy. Um, but he, he really loved his mother. I don't know what happened to his mother. Let me see if she's still alive. Yeah, okay, so he, I don't know, the way they were showing me the mother was, I was kind of thinking maybe the mother passed away, but there was a huge emphasis on Fab and his relationship with his mother. His mother is still living, uh, as far as what I have Googled. So, yeah, there is a big, like, mama's boy complex with Fab. All right, we're going to see what else is there. There's a lot of, like him not growing up emotionally or mentally after like the age of nine i'm getting um he is a big 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 mama's boy usually like that's something i would say is kind of toxic but i don't feel like his mother is a toxic woman i feel like his mother is a very loving woman um i don't think that she's like i'm not really getting anything like abnormal about her but I still feel like Fab is like really babied, you know? And with Emily, like, I would say that Emily is like a mother to him. Like, they kind of have that complex in their relationship where Emily does play like a mother role in the relationship, which isn't uncommon. But um, I don't know. I don't really feel like Fab sees emily like as a wife like i kind of feel like 
Fab sees Emily as like a second mother. Um, and that's what he thinks about her. Now, let me get into Emily's energy. <coughs> they, you know, my guys are showing me these two as kids. So what, what that's saying to me is that there was a lot of childhood stuff that they just did not grow out of. And um, I think it's like they both have this mental block that keeps them in the same mentality that they were in as, you know, growing up. Like they, they never both emotionally matured to the point where they could be in an adult relationship. I, I know this sounds weird to some people, but psychologically it does kind of fit, but like my guys are showing me a vision of these two as children together. <laughs> Anyways, for Emily, I feel like, I don't know how many siblings Emily has, but I feel like she might be from, like, a, a larger family. Um, because I feel like she, she might have had brothers. I don't know the situation with Emily, but I feel like there might have been a role that her mother did not take when her and her siblings, if she has siblings, were growing up. And Emily kind of had to fill that role. Um, like I would, I could see, I see Emily like cooking and cleaning from a young age, doing laundry from a young age for like her whole family, trying to provide for her whole family. Young, you know. Um, like I said, I don't really know much about Emily, um, and I feel like Emily just is so used to that, taking care of everybody. So when she met Fab, you know, it was kind of like they were two puzzle pieces that just fit together, you know? Um, these two, I am getting a soul connection. They are soulmates. I, I could see that very clearly. Emily and Fab are both soulmates. Um, whatever happens between these two, you know, you don't got to be, I mean... I kind of, I just can't really see Emily ever leaving for good. I feel like she is going to leave him, though. I think she's going to leave him for, for actually a, a pretty long period of time. Um, this isn't happening yet. Like, I feel like she's thinking about it right now. I, I do see her, like, going away, maybe going on a trip. There's just something about more distance being put in between these two. And this might not be covered on media, but I don't feel like they're going to... If they're still living together at all right now, I don't feel like they're going to be for much longer. I feel like Emily is going to be either taking a lot of trips away from Fab, or <clears throat> there's just going to be a lot of distance between her and him. Um, I'm seeing this is going to go on for like a year and a half, this distance and... You know, uh, her moving back and forth and coming home and then leaving right after. I feel like that's going to last for about a year and a half. And then they are going to get get back together after that. You know, and, you know, try and make it something, I guess you could say, more stable. <clears throat> Emily has, like, a lot of anxiety as well. I feel like she has a lot of social anxiety. She, I don't know. I kind of feel like she does not really like to be in public all the time with Fab. Like, she really, you know, picks and chooses the events that she goes to. And Fab can be very stubborn. And then, you know, I think this is kind of a big reason she's... They're getting into fights because of it's the public appearances that she's not really happy about. Um, she kind of just feels like, I don't want to go to these events anymore. Like, this is too much now which is normal um she feels like a lot of people are always looking at her yeah i'm getting like more social anxiety and she's just done going to these events with him all the time um but she does it to make you know him happy because i feel like he argues and says oh no you have to go however <clears throat> yeah i feel like these two they're not going to really get off each other if you know what i mean 
But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I am throwing a sale on my website. You can definitely check that out for testimonials, reviews, media predictions that have come true and everything else. Go on my Instagram page, Lottie Lux. All right, bye.